Hello, radiographers. Hope you are doing good. Uh, today, I am going to show you the proper positioning uh, technique and planning of the MRI hip joint. Uh, so let's start the MRI hip joint. And before I start, if you didn't subscribe my YouTube channel, please consider doing so. And if you on Facebook, please follow my Facebook page. So without further ado, so let's start the MRI hip joint. So let's start with the patient positioning. Uh, position the patient uh, on supine position, head pointing towards the magnet. So it will be head part supine. And then position the patient over the spine coil and place the body coil over the pelvis and so that the coil covers the area from iliac crest and down to the mid thigh and center the laser beam over the hip joint and it's uh, four inches uh, below the iliac crest. And now first introduce the protocol. At first there is the uh, localizer for planning. And then there is two T1 coronal and T1 team coronal that is or STR coronal. And then PT fat set coronal and T2 me 2 d coronal or T2 star coronal. So there is four coronal here. And I will uh, keep two coronal and delete two coronals. So I will delete the T2 star coronal and T1 team coronal and then PD fat set sagittal and T1 sagittal. Here I will keep the PD fat set sagittal and I will delete T1 sagittal. And then the axial protocols T1 axial and below there is T2 axial and T2 STR axial. So now the localizer scan is running and this scan will give us uh, three primary images and there's the images one coronal and there is the two axial for planning and now I am planning T1 coronal. So I am planning the T1 coronal so for T1 coronal, so place the positioning block. This is the positioning block or you can say the slice block. So place the positioning block on the axial images for coronal image. So on the axial image, the, this block, this slice block should be parallel to the right and left femoral heads. And on the sagittal, these slices will be parallel to the femur. So I am planning the for the coronal images. And look that the slices are parallel to the right and left femur head. And click apply when plan is finished. So I already delete the other two coronal. So only T1 coronal and T1 team coronal have completed the scan. And now I am planning for the sagittal images. And here I am planning for both hip joint, right and left on the single protocol. So for sagittal planning, plan on the coronal image and axial image. So on the coronal image, the slices or the positioning block should be parallel to the femur. And on the axial images, the slices or positioning block should be 
perpendicular to the femoral head and there is four axial and i will delete one the pd i will delete pd fat set axial there was two pd fat set axial and now there is three axial and now i am planning for the axial images so for the axial images plan on the coronal images for coronal image and the slices should be parallel to the right and left femoral head on the coronal image and on the sagittal image the slices should be perpendicular to the femoral head And there is 30 slices and the slice thickness is 3 and distance factor is 10. So after planning, click apply. And as you plan the T1 axial, the other two axial protocols will copy the plan from the T1 axial planning. So here is the coronal images. The first, the T1 coronal. This is the T1 coronal image. And this is the PT fat set coronal image. And for filming, select the series and send it to the filming by clicking the copy to film sheet button and go to the filming. And if the images are on reverse, because there is the spine and there is bladder, so the images are inverse. So I will inverse the reverse the image by selecting the series and by double clicking and by clicking the right mouse and reverse the series. Again, I will adjust in the window and I will reverse the series for correct order. Select the series. Select the series and then reverse series. And now the images are in correct order. So this is the from the anterior side, then the, there is the bladder and the symphysis pubis, and this is the posterior image. On the same process for the PT fat set coronal, select the series and send it to the film sheet and look at the filming layout is 4 into 5. That means the 20 images on film and adjusting the window and after adjusting, I will set the reference images on the bottom and look at that there is the images are in reverse order. So I will make the images in correct order by selecting the series and then reverse order. Now the images are in correct order. And after proper filming, click the print button. So my two coronal film have been printed. And now I'm waiting for the PD fat set sagittal protocols to be completed. So if, uh, if this notification comes uh, before a scan is start, so this is the a notification that gives by the SAR limit exit. 
So there is two mode of scanning. There is normal mode and there is fast level mode. So always try to keep normal mode for scanning. Okay. Uh, so there is a calculation of the machine uh, of, from the patient's height and weight. And if the calculation exceeds the parameter, then this notification comes. And this calculation by the patient's information of body height and weight, the machine select the radio frequency level and how much radio frequency will give to the patient. So this is very important for uh, patients, for machines to give the correct patient's height and weight. So each protocol have a given set of parameters for the SAR value. And if it exceeds, exceeded, this notification comes and machine wants to increase TR. That means the given TR is, is less for this patient to scan. So if you increase TR, you don't have to keep fast level. And, and the normal mode remains. So you have three options. You can reduce slices and you can decrease flip angle and also you can increase TR. So generally increased TR is the best option. Uh, time will slightly increase, but it will keep the normal mode. And then press OK. And the scan will start in normal mode. And now my PD fat set a sagittal for both hip has completed. So I will, I am selecting the series and sending it to the film sheet. So first one is the right hip joint and the second one is the left hip joint. So I will change the film format to four into six because there is 48 images and I have made two film. Each film contains 24 images. The first film is the uh, right hip and the second one is the left hip, sagittal images. So you can comment on each series, uh, like the first 24 images for right hip. You can comment right hip below the each image and Remain 24 images for left hip joint. You can comment left hip joint on each image. I, I didn't show he, this here. And I'm waiting for the axial images to be completed. Yes, I got the T1 axial images. And I for printing, I select the series, adjusting the window on the viewing. And you can also adjust on the filming process. Select the series and send the films, send the images to the filming and also the reference images you have to send to the film. And select the series, select 4 into 7 format so that the 28 images in the film. And delete the extra 3 images. and remove the reference image from all the images. And there is the four into seven format pin. There is the 27 actual images and one reference image. Adjust the window pan. And print the pin. So adjust the window carefully so that the contrast is very good on the image and ready to just like the films. So T1 XL printed and T2 XL and PD headset XL is scanning.
FT2 XL scan has completed. So now I am in the viewing. So this is the T2 XL hip joint. Select the series, send it to the filming. And on go to the filming. And select the folder. And change the filming layout to 4 into 7. And also set the reference image of the actual images. This is the reference image and send it to the film. And delete the one image for the actual, for the reference image and select the film and remove the reference images from the images. And there is one reference image. So now no need to give reference image on all the segment. So print the film and now the one image, one film remaining that is PD fat set XL. And this is the PD fat set. You can also take T2 STL by the exception of the PD fat set. And select the series and send it to the filming. And on the same process, change the layout to 4 into 7. I'm move, moving out the patient because the scan has finished. And on the filming, I am deleting some images so that that extra film didn't print. And the last one is the reference image for the actual images. And send the reference image to the film. And adjust the zoom pen and window before printing. So this is the last film I printed. So my job is done. So thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed the video. So if you learned something from this video, please share this video with your friends and subscribe my YouTube channel and follow my Facebook page. Thank you.